Kom. Hello, hello Hi. everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Miguel. Good evening, Marielos. Good evening, Julio. Good evening. And good evening, Boris. Hello, good to hear you. Hello, good to hear you too, guys. How are you doing today? Uh, that's well, good. Working hard. Too much traffic, no? Yeah, I know. We are now here home. We have a lot of traffic and the prices of the gas are insanely high, crazy. right? Yeah. So yeah, and we have traffic and we're expending more gas in the traffic. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It it will be better if we are like working from home, like in like in the quarantine. Right, it will, that will be better. Uh, for me, I work with you at nights here, working from home, and I really like that job. But when I have to go to my morning job, I have to drive and I have to spend money and I have to spend gas, I don't like that. But that's how it is, right? We have to work. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just, really true. Yeah, that's all reality. Well, so thank you very much, guys, for being here. Thank you for being punctual. I know many of you have been punctual to the class even before I got to the class. So thank you for your punctuality. I do really appreciate that. Now, we have been working in the section three and we're gonna do just two more lessons today and then we're gonna do a review. So if you have any questions, any, I don't know, any doubts, you have about the platform, about exercises. We can do that today. Um, we're gonna go with the topic. Yeah, excellent. Well, Milton, you send it for everyone. So everyone can see the date because you send it for everybody. <laughs> so everybody can see it. So yes, the thank way you, that- <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Milton. Thank you so much. The way that Milton did it, it's really good because it's, uh, it's correct. It's Tuesday, March 8th, 2022, or we can also say 2022, right? So yes, please. It's really hot here in, in, in Zulutan. I don't know if where you live, it's really hot, but here where I live, it's really, really, really extremely hot. Like- How many, how many degrees do you have today? Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. 38? 
maybe the weather can tell me, but I think mm, around that, but it's really hot. All day long has been really, really, really hot. Let me see what I can see the weather here. Weather, 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 weather. Usulutan says. Oh, 78. lo tengo en. No, Fahrenheit. Oh. I have Fahrenheit. Ah, Fahrenheit. I don't know how to set this on, on centigrade. Oh, yeah, here. Uh, Fahrenheit, Celsius. It says that it's 26, but it's not 26. No, it's not 26, not at all. If it was 26, I will be really happy right now, but it's not. But I, it feels like it feels like 30? 35, like 35. Yeah. It feels like 35. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. Yeah. So yes, and Alex is sending the date for tomorrow. So Alex is living in the future. Alex at March 9th. <laughs> no, today is March 8th. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, for sending the date to the chat. I do really appreciate your, your I don't know how to say this, like you trying to be ahead. That, that's a really good point. So thank you very much. I do really appreciate it. So Milton was the first one and you can see already the date there. But if we, if we always practice to write the date, at least, at least we're gonna know how to write the date, right? And also guys, I have another tongue twister for you for this um, day. So we can continue practicing pronunciation because we were practicing pronunciation with just one. Right, I don't know. I don't remember what was the one that we were practicing. Do you remember? Oh yeah, Peter Piper, right? Peter Piper was the one we were practicing. So we're gonna practice another one that is called uh, "She Sells Seashells by the Seashore." That's another one that we're gonna be practicing today. But let's start with the class. As many of you send it to the chat already, yes, today is Tuesday, March eighth, the two thousand twenty. Too. I don't know guys about you, but since the pandemic started back in 2000, well, it started in 2019, but we felt like it was in 2020. So even since the pandemic started, I always feel like we're living in the 2020, in the 2020. I feel like it's the same year all over, the same year. Don't you feel like that? It's like, it's two. 2020, only 21, 22, but it feels, it feels weird, just weird, I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna go here with the class. Um, the topic we have for today is a review and also the last topics we have in the platform for section three because we have been working ahead. Okay, let's go here. So this is the topic we have for today is, <clears throat> I should try that, maybe I should try that. And also we're gonna go with a uh, reading activity, this reading activity, okay? So it's in a foreign language. We were practicing this one um, yesterday, but the only thing that we didn't do is that we didn't listen the end, right? Because my internet uh, cut off, yeah? You didn't listen to the woman, right? Hello? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> okay. Yes, teacher. Whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Two. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's all. Okay, so try to take notes about what she says, because I'm gonna ask you the um, for example, what what she says about learning a second language. It's organized alphabetically. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word. I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Okay. Which techniques do they use in that? What techniques did you hear that she's using? She's using actually just one technique. 
as a whole. Did you listen to it? Yeah. What is it, Marielos? Um, she writes um, the word in an alphabetical order. And <laughs> when she has time, she has time, she goes to the dictionary and writes something about the word, the, the, maybe, um, I don't know about the words. Uh, I don't know how to say significa. Mean? <laughs> mean, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, yes. And I, I understand that. Okay. Yes, that's very good, Marielos. And also she said, thank you very much, Marielos. She said that um, she writes information, extra information about the word. For example, if it is a verb, an adverb, a noun, right? An adjective. You know, guys, that there are some nouns that can be verbs. Did you know that? For example, the noun, water. You know what is water, right? Water. Yes. Right? As a noun, like it's agua. But yeah. do you know that water can also be a verb? You didn't know? No. So for example, the action of you giving water to the plants, you can say, I'm watering the plants or I should water the plants. So in that case, you're using water as a verb, water the plants. Another one that can work as a noun and as a verb is phone, phone, my phone, but I will phone my mom today. I'm gonna phone my mom today, you know? So phone can be a noun and phone can be a verb. Another one, it's the noun pet. So I have two pets. I have one cat and one dog. You know the meaning of pet, right? Yeah. So to pet an animal, it's to give, uh, I don't know, a sweet touch to the animal, like acariciar, that's pet. So if you use it as a verb, it's acariciar, and if you use it as a noun, it's mascota. You get it? So sometimes some words can be nouns, and some words at the same time can be verbs. And that's how English works. You're gonna be getting used to it in the future. Did you know anything sure. about this? Uh -huh. no, I'm sorry to jump. And what about the, the now book? I can understand the, the meaning of book, but um, using as a verb. You, can, you can't understand it as a verb. Yeah, the word book. Okay, so book is like a reservation, to make a reservation. For example, I'm gonna book a hotel room or I'm gonna book a, a restaurant reservation, book. So book is reservation, mostly. Okay, teacher, got it, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And book, yeah, that's another good example, Adriana, because book as a verb is that, a book as a noun is a book, right? To read. Yeah, and we have many of those. We have um, many verbs that can be nouns and nouns that can be verbs, so adverbs. Yeah, it's something in English. But let me tell you and believe me in this. Learning English is easier than learning Spanish. <laughs> so be grateful that you know Spanish and that you're learning English because learning Spanish is so difficult. For example, in English, we have a lot of, um, no, in Spanish, we have a lot of uh, genders for the things. Why do things have genders? Who said that esta es la mesa and is a female? Why la mesa is a female? In English, it's not female. In English, it's just the table, the table. El carro is masculine. In, in, in English, it's just the car, the car and the table, the car and the table, they don't have genders. So when people are learning Spanish, they have to learn the genders of things. So that's pretty difficult. I don't know, it's, it's, it's crazy. So, but let's go back here. We're gonna do a reading activity. So if you can please 
next we're going to complete this uh wait a second i'm gonna do it here so it's better to read yeah like that can you see it yes sir. okay yes, sir. i'm gonna do a reading so i'm gonna read it first and then we're gonna go to the breakout rooms to do a reading in groups but right now just listen to me and if you have any questions in any pronunciation you can ask me and i but i, I guess you know these pronunciations but in case you have questions just write them down and at the end of the reading you can ask me again okay just listen uh let me see i'm gonna mute you all so i can speak okay the title says learning styles oh very interesting topic have you ever had trouble learning something did you overcome the problem how <clears throat> have you ever sat in class wondering if you will ever grasp the information that was being taught maybe the presentation didn't fit your learning style for minds and bodies gather information in different ways and from all around us seeing hearing and doing then our brains process that information organizing it organizing it and making connections to things we already know this process can also work in different ways do we think in pictures or words do we remember details or the big picture when we're trying to learn it helps to know how our brain works how do we best gather and organize information different people have different learning styles for example one person might struggle with reading information but understand it immediately in an illustration another person might have problems with the picture but not the reading test text. Psychologists have identified seven basic learning styles. <clears throat> A lot of learning styles. Linguistic. These people learn by using language, listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Logical. These people learn by applying formulas and scientific principles. Visual. These people learn by seeing what they are learning. Musical, instead of finding music, a distraction, these people learn well when information is pre presented through music. Hmm. Kinesthetic, and I think that I am a kinesthetic. Movement and physical activities help these people learn. Interpersonal, these people learn best if they associate associate new information directly with their own experiences. Interpersonal, these people learn well by working with others. You will often encounter situations that do not match your strongest learning style. If you know what your strengths are, strengths are you can develop strategies to balance your weakness. No, to balance your weaknesses for a more successful learning experience. So you can see we have a lot of different learning styles. In my case, when I was studying in college, uh, we did a tech, uh, yeah, we did a test. We did a test to, to see what learning styles we were and how they will help us doing something. For example, I'm a kinesthetic learner. For me, it's better to learn when I do. For example, when I teach a class, I understand better the topic than when I am the student. I don't know if you understand that. So for example, I remember that in college, I had, I had a lot of teachers that taught me a lot of topics and I remember the topic but I don't remember the explanation. Now, when I have to teach my students and I go back through that topic and I study more about the topic and I do it and I explain it myself, I understand better the topic than when I was in college. So I'm better doing than listening. So that's a kinesthetic style. 
Then I'm visual and auditory. That's another one, musical, that can be called auditory as well. So we're gonna do this reading. We're gonna talk about it. You're gonna talk about uh, maybe with your classmates, have some time and think, what kind of learning style it's better for me? What is better for me? Do I concentrate if I am listening to music? It's better if I sing something in, in, on my mind. For example, I know people that learn phone numbers. So these people can learn phone, phone numbers by singing the phone numbers. Have you ever heard that? Like for example, when, uh, I don't know, like a long time ago <laughs> when we, don't, we didn't have social media, do you remember we were watching the TV and sometimes commercials pop up and the commercials were about, for example, the Pizza Hut or Pollo Campero, whatever, and they were singing the phone numbers. And it was really easy to remember the phone number. Yes, I just remember. Right? So that kind of information was musical information and auditory information. So many people can learn through music. Sometimes it's better to sing things in your mind so it, your mind will keep it there. Anyways, do you have the reading? So if you can go to the platform, the reading is on page, uh, on exercise, I mean, 3.11, that's the reading exercise. Do you have it? Yes? So if you have it, please take turns with your classmates. We're gonna go through, we're gonna go to the breakout rooms right now and you're gonna have turns to do the reading, please. So try to read with your classmates. For example, one person is going to read one paragraph, then another person, another paragraph. And then you as a group, you have to speak and you have to talk about what you think and maybe also what you, what you think your learning style is. Because maybe we think our learning style is one, but actually it's another one. But yeah, let's try to think what is best for us when learning. There's something called, you know, I don't know if it was Einstein who said it. No, I don't think it was an Einstein. I don't know. But some, someone famous said, that you cannot judge a fish for its ability to climb a tree. Do you understand that? You can't judge a fish for its ability to climb a tree. For example, if you have a monkey, a bird, and a fish, who do you think will get to the top of the tree first? The monkey. And if you have the bird, because I said a bird? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, the bird. Second one, maybe the monkey. And mm -hmm. the fish won't even move, right? Like, if maybe the tree was underwater, <laughs> that will be fair for the fish. <laughs> But yeah, that, that, and, and just to think about that, because sometimes we think um, people are not capable of doing things, but it's just because that's not their strength. We have to find our strength. Okay. Do you have the reading? I hope you have the reading. Let's go have turns uh, when reading and then just try to speak about it and try to identify your learning style. Let's go, guys. There you have the invites join the break rooms.
Marcos. Oh, good night, Miss. Sorry. Good evening. Good evening. I'm uh, getting in the class too late. <laughs> and you were working? Yeah. Okay, so your classmates are doing a reading activity. So I'm gonna send you to one of the groups, try to read what they are reading. It's the activity that is in the exercise 3.11, okay? So they are reading okay. that and then we're sharing what we think about the learning styles. Okay, me. Okay, I'm gonna send you with, let's see. Uh, one there. Ernesto, you were working in a group? Oh, no, I'm waiting to be joined there. Okay, there. Or assigned in the, uh, the group. Thank you. Yes.
how, how our brains work. How do we best gather and organize, or organize information? Different people have different learning. Okay, Style. different. Style. Okay. Different, style. different learning style. Learning styles. For example, one person might is stronger. Is stronger. The what the pronunciation is true. Struggle. 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 What grading information? But understand, but understand it. Okay. Uh, Gaby. Immediately. Okay. Immediately in an illustration. Immediately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just have to say it immediately. 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 Okay. Immediately in a illustration. Yes, it's by abiding sugary. High. High fat foods. This is like now you only copy the, the sentences and only add by and the the verb. Uh, with uh, thank you okay. okay did you finish reading oh. the text okay yeah we we read that the, the text um but we didn't sure what is our style okay try to do it okay okay uh, glenda Yes. You discover your style in the text. Oh, yes. Basic, uh, logical. This okay. one. Um, kinesthetic. Yes. I've identified seven basic learning styles. Linguistic. These people learn by using language. Listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Logical. These people learn by applying formulas and scientific principles. Visual. These people learn by seeing what they are learning. Musical. Instead of finding music a distraction, these people learn well when information is presented through music. Que termine? Ya no hay nadie más, ¿verdad? Giovanna, y continúe.
Hello, Maritza. 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 Hello, Maritza, can you hear me? Es como que no querían volver. You were, you were really entertaining in the break room, speaking about their learning styles, right? That was really entertaining. Now, I have something for you that I think will be good um, to understand your learning style. As you saw, we have seven different uh, learning styles. Both the, but the, most, the three most important ones are the visual, auditory, that is musical, 
and kinesthetic. Those are the three more important learning styles. So I'm gonna send you, I don't know if you know already what your learning style is, but I'm gonna send you a link to take a test. And then when you finish that, you have to tell me teacher, I am visual and then send it to the chat, okay? Right now, I'm gonna send you a link. You're gonna do a test. When you finish, send me your results here to Zoom chat, okay? Do you get it? Okay, teach me that. Got it. Okay, there you go. Let's do that right now. And when you finish, just come back here and share your results. In Spanish, teacher. Yeah, I sent it in Spanish, so it's easier for you to understand. And because this is like something psychological, and if you don't understand that and you choose right, wrong, it's not gonna be true, okay? So that's why I send it in Spanish.
we have the first results. Wow, this is very interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah, we have here. And this, guys, is really good because with this um, information, you can understand a little bit better how you learn, how you can learn. For example, here in the class, I can teach you in one way. And I do really like when students do things. So that's why I send you to work because I can be here speaking a whole hour and you're not gonna learn anything. Visual, okay. I see that I have a lot of visual students here. Okay. I'm looking at your results. No, no, pero mándenmelo aquí, no lo manden al grupo de WhatsApp, hombre. <ríe> que ahí no estamos. Ya me va a preguntar, ¿y qué es eso usted? <ríe> where, uh, excuse me, did you, where did, where did you send you? Uh, here, here in, 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 in Zoom. You send me the percentages. Wow, I have one person who is audit, auditory more than visual. Mm, interesting. And Marielos too. Marielos is also auditory. Okay. So I have Adriana and Marielos who are more auditory. Nelsi too. Okay. Okay. So you think, you see, you, you have things in common. Kinesthetic, we have a kinesthetic. Glenda is kinesthetic. But it's because guys, yes, we have a strong learning style, but it doesn't say that our learning style is just that one. It's just that we have one really strong and the other one's not so strong. <clears throat> but we can learn in different ways. Now, if you wanna take advantage of this, what you can do is go on YouTube and look for your learning style and look what is the best, best technique you can do to learn with that learning style. They, they will give you different activities, different ways you can learn or do. For example, for me, it's really easy to concentrate if I have something in my hand. For example, I'm the kind of people who does this. So I have to, I have, to have something in my hand and start doing like, so if I am doing this, I'm paying attention. But if I'm not doing anything and someone is speaking, Sometimes <laughs> it's funny because I'm a teacher now, but as a student, I'm not. I really do the things and I complete my assi assignments, but I am not the kind of student. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not the kind of, of student who pays attention, okay? So if you're speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking and speaking and in the same voice level, and like that, you're gonna lose me. So boop, I'm not paying attention anymore. I'm flying, I'm flying and I'm thinking maybe, and, and the most important thing is that sometimes my bosses are giving me specific instructions about things that I have to do and I'm not paying attention. I don't know, I want to pay attention, but I can't. I'm like flying in the moon, like the sky, I'm there, up there, 
and thinking about many other things. So if I want to pay attention, I have to start doing this. Like do something with my hands. Because if I'm not doing something with my hands, my mind is flying. And I learned that with YouTube videos. I was like, what can I do if I'm like uh, more auditory, kinesthetic, visual? And what are my learning skills or what are the activities I can do? So now, guys, I will recommend you go on YouTube, go on a specific web pages and write your learning style, okay? Then with that in mind, you will have a better understanding on how to learn English also. For example, some of you, your strongest part can be listening. Oh, I'm really good at listening. Teacher, yo les, mire, es que escucharle, yo le entiendo todo. When I have to speak, that is the problem, right? That's because you're auditory. But now, teacher, I'm really good speaking, but with the grammar, I'm really bad. Oh, teacher, I'm really good with listening. I'm really good with grammar. I'm really good at speaking. But you know what is my main problem? Reading. In my case, because I do the TOEFL test, in my case, my problem is reading. That's my problem. Because I take a long time reading, a long, long, long time reading. But listening, no problem. Grammar, no problem. But reading, my problem. So that's just my learning style. Okay, now that you did that test, please, I will advise you to go and try to learn um, by your style. Because if you learn by your style, it's gonna be easier for you. Now guys, um, we have completed section three. So I hope you're starting on section four for tomorrow because we need to, and also please, please, please complete the meter. The meter you have to complete it yourself. We can do reviews or maybe if you don't understand a part there, you can ask me and we can go through that here together, but you have to do it yourselves, okay? And after you complete the meter, well, maybe let's see right now, who has completed the meter after section three? Glenda? Not yet. Adriana? I have some problem with the last part. And I think it's, I can remember. Uh, but I have already completed. You have a problem with the last part, with the reading activity? <clears throat> no, I have, uh, I have 90%. But what is the problem? Because the last part is a reading activity. Uh, let me check. Teacher, me too, I have a problem. Uh, With I'm what part? I'm going to send you an explanation because um, this is the second part of the midterm. And the writing the sentence. Instruction, the, the instruction is that you have another word, for example, you have another kind of words, but I don't know if, if I understand. Well, but uh, for example, uh, is the word scratch, scratches. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know what the, another kind of word, word, scratch, I can use. And I, I am a little bit confused. Am I going to send you a screenshot if you can help me or you explain me more? Mm -hmm. Well, the one that uh, the one that Julio is saying is the one we were doing yesterday. Remember? So, like this one. Mire, and the first one, the only thing you have to do is to copy and paste and add the word to. For example, the best way uh, to avoid cancer are to walk every day and eat healthy, right? And eat fresh vegetables. Okay. One I already way. get get this, this part. Teacher, part two, the three. Second part. The part two, yeah. second part. Three. Me, me, and the and the second part in the in the your exercise. Uh, need use. Uh, the necessity. Okay. 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 Okay
eso es lo que sucede. A ver, a ver, repítame de nuevo porque estaba escuchando muchos audios aquí a la vez y no le escuché lo que dijo. Y es eh, similar al, ¿cómo se llama? Al, al ejemplo que aparece ahí. Ah, ayer no me pude dormir por eso porque estaba tratando de resolverlo. Y eh, tiene que usar el, dos veces el verbo to be. ¿En cuál? ¿El nombre three? Sí. You can learn to dance better. By going out to the clubs? What the bird be? Permítame, ya me buscarlo. Que no recuerdo. Es... Yo, tuve, yo tuve problemas solo en el número, en ese que estamos checando, el número 3, nada más, solo ahí tuve problemas. Yeah, I think it's just by going out to the clubs. I think that's the one. Let's check. Oh no, eh, by going out to the club. No, by, not by, by not, not by taking a class, but by going out to the club. The clubs, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh not, I understand because it's complete. It's a complete thing with this one. Not, yes. Not by uh, taking a class. Okay, okay. But so it's like the, you can learn to dance better not taking a class, but going out to the clubs. Yeah? yeah. Not by taking, okay. Let me see if that's correct. But going in here, not. Let's see if it works like this. Or no, what? It's not by taking. Not by not taking, by, exactly. And, and but, not by taking. But by going. And but by, by going. going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the first part. We need to add by. But by going. Submit. Let's see. Yes, now it's better. Not by taking a class, but by going. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing because it's a long answer so I'm gonna send you here to the chat that's so that's teacher. the answer not by taking a class but by going out to the clubs but we don't use the verb to be in this one we don't use the verb to be just by and the verb with ing mm. guys it's nine on four I'm sorry but I have to go <laughs> yeah. So, yeah 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 I'm sorry but I have to go right now so I will see you guys next class and we're gonna go through the other exercises you're not understanding okay okay thanks. try to give okay. me the numbers please please if you don't understand an exercise write the number and then okay. we can see okay okay thanks bye bye